Hi guys, uh, today we are going to create a very simple Android app uh, and this Android app is just uh, just very very simple uh, first first and form uh, first we're going to uh, take two numbers add them up and display it on the screen uh, before we create Android applications uh, first we must download these tools uh, first and foremost uh, the official Android IDE, Android Studio, which can be found in the developer section of Android.com, and and Java Software Development Kit version seven because this is the only one which is supported by Android Studio, and and with and with this, uh, I have to warn you that uh, you must have a little knowledge of Java programming language in order for you to create Android applications. And now, after installing both of these files, we can now create Android applications. To start creating Android applications, uh, first we must go to the, the file menu bar, click new, and new project. Uh, with this, uh, we can you can type your own application name. Uh, let's say adding adding two numbers adding two numbers then click next and from here we can select the the minimum uh, OS version that that your app will run uh, let's let's say uh, we want this this app to run on on on, on jelly bean on Android 4.1 then click next then click blank activity a uh, blank activity since we're not going to do any serious stuff then click next then click finish and we and we'll wait for our project to load after loading our project uh we can now finally code our android app uh, but first uh we need to change the rel the relative layout of, of our app from linear layout so that we can manage our Android, Android application and we set uh, the default orientation of, of our app to vertical so that it would our app would lock in, into the in, into vertical position and now uh, let's add uh, some elements in in, in our app uh, since we need two two inputs we need two Two text fields, one, one for the first number. Let's call this one num one text field. Another one for the second number. Let's call this one num two num two text field. A plain text view for displaying the answer. Let's resize this resize this one first. and let's call this one result text field and let's erase the new text so that it won't display any text when we run the app and finally a button wherein it would facilitate the functionality of our app and let's call this one add button and let's replace new new button string to add to add so it will display uh, the words add in the button after that uh, we go to the on click properties of the button what whatever we input in this would be the name of the method that we will create in the main activity that java file where it would facilitate the functionality of our, or of, of our app uh, let's say the let's name our app uh, Name name the name the the method on add click and, fr and from there we can go to the main activity that Java file and create this method. Let's create this method public void on add click 
this would requ require a parameter with a type of view and let's call this one a in, inside this method uh, let's create an, an if statement wherein it would compare the view id of a to to the, to the view id of the add button inside this if statement uh, it would cap um, we will capture the the input from the view let's call this one num underscore one let's parse this this string to edit text text data type and we will employ employ the method find view by id of of the num1 text field then let's do the same for the second number num2 tf num2 next we'll declare three variables with type double the num1 num2 and the answer now we will convert this edit text num1 and num underscore 2 to double and we will do that by parsing we par parsing this edit text edit text for uh, to to double using the parse double method num underscore one edit text variable let's get the text and the string inside of it and let's do this for the second number two num2 num2 let's add these two, two numbers up and add and put it inside the answer variable num1 plus num2 uh, we, we will declare a, a variable wherein uh, it is text view type let's call it t let's parse let's parse the id number of the text field result and now let's set the the string of the result text field into the answer that that we want let's type t set text empty string plus the answer and let's save our work and now we can finally test our android app now our android virtual device is now ready uh, we can finally test our android app uh, let's go to the home drawer and let's look for our android app let's click and run our app and voila here's here's our android app that, that, that we made earlier uh you can finally test it out uh let's in, let's input some numbers let's say 12 and 13 and let's click add and there you go it showed the sum of numbers 12 and 13 uh, thank you for watching and I hope you learned something from our tutorial. Uh, have a good day.